in styling insights with Sally Jess. Hello, I'm Sally Jess and I am the founder of the Stylish Home Decorators Network Group. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. Now, the topic I want to talk to you about today is that your home interior style is part of your identity. So your home is a reflection of who you are. So how can we incorporate things into our home to reflect who we are? So that's by putting things in that are, are meaningful to us and uh, represent who we are. So that's by putting, um, we can put memories into our home. So things that you love. So if you've got um, photographs, we can create a wall gallery. So maybe from uh, your overseas trip or your um, trip to the beach and that sort of thing. So by this is showing who we are and what we love the most about our lives and the people that are in it and that reflects in our home. So also it also brings an emotional connection into um, your home as well because you want to when you're it's the way that you want to feel within yourself when you walk into your home. So does that, that means like if you want to walk into your home and you'll want to feel um, happiness or joy, uh, contentment, um, tranquility, all these feelings uh, comes from within and then we need to project that out into our home. So by adding colours into our home that are going to set off those types of um, emotions, feelings, uh, vibrations. So when you're creating your home, we need to make sure that that is a representation of who you are and the things that you love. So the things that you love could be colours. So you could introduce the colours into your home that um, resonate with you and have that emotional connection as well to a feeling. So it's like that we need to... Our, our bodies are our home and we create our feelings within our bodies but we need to project that into our home so and that helps us create our own unique interior um, style as well because you, the, yes there are so many different types of interior styles out there and um, a lot of our homes have particular elements out of those um, those styles but at the end of the day it's about creating our own unique interior style to what suits us and what makes us feel um, have those feelings when we we create our home and walk into it also another thing is that if you look into your wardrobe there's going to be similarities um, in your clothing in your shoes um, to what your interior style is so once again that is a reflection from ourselves into our home so if you took a couple of pieces of clothing out and um, put that into your living space you most probably see that there's quite similarities with the colors whether you um, you like bold prints or patterns that's going to be a reflection that comes out of your styling within yourself um, to your home so also um, don't put things into your home when I say things are uh, colors or prints or um, textures into your home that you most probably wouldn't wear yourself either because that's not a reflection on who you are um, and once again that comes back to the styles uh, the different types of interior styles so make sure that it actually resonates with you on how how you feel and would you wear it yourself to then put it into your home. So that's just about it for the topic today. I could talk for a lot longer, but um, I like to keep them short. Um, if you have any questions on, on this uh, topic um, that your home interior style is a part of your identity just pop them into the comments below and um, I will answer them or if 
Uh, if you have a, a topic that you would like to hear me talk on, I'm happy to do that as well. So this is our community. I created this community for you all here that uh, are watching or might watch the replay. So um, please reach out if you have any uh, questions or if you would like me to talk on a particular topic. But just remember that when, when you're creating your interior style, don't you don't have to follow the trends. You don't have to follow um, the, the particular interior styles that are out there like your Scandinavian, your hobo, your rustic, your modern, traditional, transitional, all those. It's about what's within you that you want to create your home as. Because like I said, your home is a reflection of who you are. So you want to re represent um, have your home represent who you are so you know you might have also that people come into your home or you've gone into somebody else's home and you've actually seen something that just doesn't look right that wouldn't fit within um, who those people are so um, yeah don't put anything in your home that doesn't reflect who you are or um, or it doesn't sit well with you. Um, trust your gut instinct because usually that's that's usually uh, a good indication that um, it's not going to work well in your home because it's not reflecting who you are. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, these lives will come into this group now. I have been doing them on my personal page, but I wanna give more value to my group and uh, show my appreciation to you all for um, joining this group. Um, we're, we're uh, I think we're up to nearly 850 members. So that is an amazing uh, number. So uh, I'd love to keep growing this. So if you have any family or friends that are um, wanting some help with interior decorating, tips, ideas, styling, please uh, invite them to this group. We would love to have them in here. Um, also, I have my uh, second masterclass coming up next Thursday at 7 p.m., how to find your home style. So that goes from 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time to 8 p.m. So I'd love to have you uh, come and join us there as well. We have uh, three secrets that I share of um, how to find your in, uh, your um, home style. So I will pop that um, registration link into the comments below as well. And we would love to have you there. Have a great day and I shall see you next week at 10 o'clock with a new um, styling insight. So have a great day. Talk to you then. Bye for now.